in the boxing world, you have to worry it's about everything. World. You're right. It's a dirty world. That's a you dirty have to world. worry about everything. Yeah. That's I a mean, dirty if world. somebody says something in the boxing, you better just double check. Double check. Double check. What has Tyson brought to the table? Like training with Mike Tyson. Like mm. what? What did? What did he help you with? And what kind of strategies did he give you? And what? What kind of thought process? Like what is his approach to you fighting Tyson Fury? I mean. <laughs> Asking that question makes me feel like you don't really understand. Like, I grew up idolizing Tyson, Mike Tyson. Yes. Right? Everybody did. And then I said, my, as having a dream to become a world-class boxer, my first boxing match, Mike Tyson is in the gym like, oh, no, this, that, that. And I'm like, come on a moment. Like, this is real. This is how, this way I get. So it's real. This your legit. first boxing match. Yeah, this Mike legit. Mike Tyson's in your corner. Crazy. I get Mike Tyson cheer. Like, <laughs> even mentally, like, just thinking like that. Like, hearing him cheer you on. Sometimes I'm like, yes, it's him, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tripping. <laughs> you you know, have like, to check, because it's really Mike Tyson. I'm like, okay, this thing is yeah. serious. And not only, he's there and he believes that you can beat this guy. That's, that's how it is. So... Like, he put his faith on you, a guy that have done everything in boxing, that is there. You know, I'm like, so he see me as somebody that can do this. Mm. <laughs> we were talking about, like, mental stuff. This is some mental stuff that yeah. are heavy, right? Not to mention his technique. Mike Tyson has a unique style that um, I'm not, I wish I had his style. But I'm not going to expect to copy his style because it's unique to him. Well, he's also built very different but than you. He's built different. He was always short, sh the shortest guy in the room. Yeah. So with his opening, which is the case in this fight, was, I'm the shortest, his technique, if I can get. Uh, and then one thing that people always see is how strong he was. He was knocking people out. And nobody was impressed of how he was able to move from left to right yes. and this how this footwork yes. and all those stuff how he was that short and was able to get into the distance when he wanted to hit and all those stuff right yeah who was which is something that very interesting it's with mike tyson one best thing that you can get from mike tyson is the footwork 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 yeah. change from left to right yeah you know because in boxing, everything is about your foot. Mm -hmm. And his footwork, his power was based on his uh, base, on his footwork. Yeah. You know, like when you have a good base, your punch is definitely stronger when you you don't have a good base. Mm -hmm. How to have that good base to send your punch when you're right. base, right? Yes. And if you look at Mike Tyson or his fight in his career, he was all about the base, the footwork. Yes. I watch his training sometime uh, on YouTube still. And then you see how he's flipping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's not possible that heavyweight can do I this. I know, for a heavyweight. Yeah. That's just crazy. So here's you yeah. guys working yeah. together. Look, look. And this was this was four years ago. This ah. was the first time that I met Mike Tyson. This was in 2019 uh, on his podcast. And he was always about his footwork. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he was so well trained, and when he was young, the way he would move you see? in and yeah, bob look, and look, weave, look, yes, look. Yeah. yes, and he gets you go on that knee. I'm like, okay, everything, everything in that is in the leg, in the mm. thigh. <laughs> you do that like twice. You, I'm like, okay, I think I need some low body workout. <laughs> I'm not strong <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of footwork and movement, yeah. and that's why his his leg is like this big. Mm -hmm. Like a tree trunk. Right. A lot of bobbing and weaving, too. Yeah. People forget. They just think he was a hard puncher. Yeah, just no, people, fight. Yeah, so people forget. He showed you how he was, he showed me how he was training for his leg, you know, go all the way down and do like this uh, duck work and stuff. I'm like, man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he did all his yeah. career. And people that people don't see that. They just see like, oh, he, he hit hard. He's strong. You know, no, he's technical and he's hard worker. Technical, hard worker, tremendous speed, perfect yeah. technique, everything. Yeah. All the above. And yeah. he hits hard. 
he yeah. hit hard. Everything. All I mean, when you put all the all those com when you combine all those stuff, mm -hmm. there's no way you don't hit hard. Right, <laughs> right. So, is does he have an idea? Like looking at your frame and Tyson Fury's frame, does he have an idea of the way you should approach the fight? Does he give you pointers, like what he thinks that you would do that would be successful against Tyson Fury? Of course. Because he his entire career he almost fight people that like that was like Tyson Fury. Right. So and that's why I explicitly uh went to him. Went to him mm. about this fight. Because I feel like again, if I was able to have like a me let's say a quarter of what Mike Tyson have, this fight would be an easy fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think so, really? I mean, there's not an easy fight, but he will be an easier fight. Mm. Wow. I mean, out of all your, your day, 24 hours a day, how often do you think about the fight? Every minute? Not every minute, but... Um, well, now that you're talking about it, I don't even know that I'm thinking about a fight when I think about the fight. Right. It's just natural. It's just natural. It's my life. Yeah. You know, it's like the most important thing is what I do. Yeah. Every day. Even when I don't fight, even when I don't have a fight, I think about fight. It's just like my thing. It's so I can't tell exactly how often I think about a fight. But I know sometime I'll go to sleep and then he will just come in my mind and then mm. you start think. You know, start exploring those stuff. And sometimes it's exciting. I mean, the most time, most of the time it's exciting. Sometimes it's also nervous. It's, uh, mm. Yes, you're also nervous about, like, the thought that you have. You know, like, you know, I'm like, hey, man, maybe I'm missing this. Maybe I'm not taking this serious. Maybe this, maybe that, maybe that. So, which is good because after you, you have those feelings, those moments that you you're not too confident <laughs> sometimes you wait you're like oh, i think i shouldn't go to bed i didn't do enough today <laughs> 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 i'm like no i shouldn't do enough today like i need to do more 